Today I'm going to briefly go over a few terms you might hear thrown around on rotation that I know medical students can sometimes struggle with in terms of understanding what they mean and how to use them in their own fracture characterizations. In this video, we will specifically talk about extraarticular versus partial articular versus intraarticular fractures. So to start, the articular surface here in the image is the surface of the bone that forms the joint. An extraarticular fracture thus is one that does not involve this articular surface at all. You can see here that this mid-shaft femur fracture would be one that is extraarticular or type A fracture, which a side note, the AO OTA general classification for fractures states that A is an extraarticular, B is a partial articular, and C is an intraarticular fracture. Next is a partial articular fracture. This is a fracture in which there is articular surface involvement. However, there is still a metaphysis diaphysis connection. The way I learned this early on is if I could draw essentially an imaginary line from the articular surface to the shaft of the bone, then there was still some metaphysis diaphysis continuation, and thus this was a partial articular or type B fracture. Lastly, for an intraarticular fracture, as you might have already guessed, this is a fracture that involves the articular surface, but one in which there is no metaphysis diaphysis continuity. So you can see here that this is a type C fracture, as you cannot draw this imaginary line from the articular surface to the diaphysis of the bone.